Hello and what up again people as we are back with the Chassis Variants series continuing with the Hatchetman Variants after last week's glorious we domination. Um, I'll, I'll let it out of the bag now. This one isn't so much a glorious domination. We've got a couple of things though. This is the Hatchetman 5K which despite having the designation of 5 uh, suggesting it's a, you know, a kind of a mid sort of 30, late 3040s upgrade is actually from 3075. It's a Curitan model, hence the K. And uh, it does some interesting switch-ups. It adds an MRM system instead of the traditional ballistics, which is a nice switch-up. I love having mechs that actually carry MRMs by default. And uh, basically gives you a triple uh, pulse, or no, dual pulse, and I think an ER medium laser, that's it. So it's got a nice, broad, pretty simple weapon selection. Um, it's running on an XL engine by default. And one of the reasons that it took so long, apparently, in universe for the Curitans to even bother using the Hatchet Man was purely because of the axe. Now, this is supposed to come default with a sword, and I could have switched it out to have a sword, I suppose, because I think the pack gave you access to a load of different melee weapon bolt-ons, but as many of you posted in the comments, uh, and uh, I completely understand uh, the grievance is it doesn't matter which one you have, it could have a toy hammer, it, you can't use the melee weapon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so it, it doesn't matter whether the thing carries a sword or not. Uh, but outside of that, this is a pretty effective little build of, uh, of the Hatchet Man. I do like the fact it's got the nice high mounted launcher, it's got a pretty decent weapons loadout for backup once the ammo runs out, it's fairly maneuverable, decent speed, uh, jump jets always help. And, uh, yeah, I mean, the, the only other background thing I really give is that the reason it took so long is because axes, as far as the Curitans are concerned, are barbaric. That's the entire reason. They captured loads of Hatchetman 3Fs a long time ago, and I guess they were just sat there, not doing anything. Just taking up room uh, in some storehouse somewhere, probably on Luffy or wherever, like with Luffy and Armor Works or whatever, and they, they just never, they never bothered to just even... Uh, take the engines out of them to use for some of the other mechs, they just decided to keep them until someone went, what if we just switched the hatchet for a sword and stick an MRM system on it? Oh yeah, that sounds like a good idea, actually it's very honourable. Uh, also, you can see that this was recorded when the new, new version of um, Terra Therma Classic came out, and I actually really like this upgrade. Uh, gone is the big underground uh, section with this part being the top and there used to be this little cavernous bit that you could fight around. Now they've sort of brought back the original central section which you can see there through the gap in the rocks. Um, that's now like a that's now a pit. If you fall into it you will basically die unless you've got a lot of jump jets to very quickly jump out. If you fall down there you, you, you're dead. So it's a bit of a it's a bit of a you know a, a risky maneuver. Uh, but yeah, it's cool. I like that fact uh, that they've got this kind of death trap set there, uh, an actual environmental hazard. That's a nice touch. Uh, I like the fact that they added all of this sort of cover, natural cover that they stuck around there. So it encourages teams to go into the center, and it's not like the original uh, version of the classic map where it was just this massive circle over a pit of lava, which was a nice visual, but it didn't really, you know, most teams just ended up rushing, and whichever team sort of held the points to cross one. Uh, sadly, the fight here is a bit of an odd one, so I was one of the first ones into the middle and there's this guy in the stalker who ran across and I think only one other teammate eventually comes across to help him and that's it, I mean like he, he just gets slowly picked apart. Uh, I think he's got one other ally who tries to help him out and the rest of their team is split into two and you've got one half of them across the, the lava channel where I'm looking now and to my right is the rest of the enemy team and they never cross for some reason. They had plenty of opportunities I think to have gotten into the middle probably before my team did but for whatever reason they were very cautious and it played into, in, into my team's uh, strengths there because yeah, they, they never really set foot in the middle of the map with any, you know, with any sort of aggressive intent. This is about as aggressive as they get with these Madcap Mark II's uh, that try to push across, but there's so much fire that gets concentrated on them each time they come out that, yeah, they just get picked apart piecemeal. It's a, it's a classic MWO uh, round, really, in the sense of just one team has just got all of the, um, all the positional advantages and zero disadvantages, there's there's very little the enemy team can do at this point. 
so I'm trying to get out of the way of this Corsair pilot who needs to reposition. But overall, Hatchetman 5K, I quite like it. Uh, it's a, it's a nice it's a nice version. Uh, and PGI did some interesting uh, things with, with the choices of variant that they made for the Hatchet Man because a few of them don't come around till a lot later because they added the 7R, which is an interesting uh, build, uh, which is from the Republic of the Sphere uh, days of uh, Battletech. So you've got something that's like past the bloody jihad in the game. Uh, and I, I think it was all just to find variants that they could add more of. And I, I'm not, I'm not against that. If you can get more interesting and unique variants of the mech in, why not? Uh, it's the same with the, the remaining two is the 7R and the 6 Delta. Uh, and the 6 Delta gives you a rotary cannon. And yeah, the 7R, it doesn't give you any unique weapons, but it still gives you a unique loadout with the fact that it's a, it's a hatch mount that's got just a buttload of uh, energy weapons on one arm and not much else. I think it's got maybe one other weapon that isn't on the arm, so it's this real um, feast or famine type uh, build. But uh, obviously the 5K is a bit more unique because it's a missile uh, launcher variant, so obviously they, they bump up the hard points. I think you've got two missile hard points for the, uh, for the launcher on this. So I guess it's for anyone who wants to build like a hatchet man that might run streaks or just splat with SRMs or a couple of lower, um, lower uh, number MRMs, like tens, for instance, that kind of thing. It's, the, it's it's BGI's attempt at, at making a mech feel unique while also robbing the mech of the thing that makes it unique. You know what I mean? Where, where they just they hard point bloat everything. Uh, as you can see, this is the part of the map where, in the previous version of the revamp of the classic version, there would have been this big open section underneath, and obviously now that's all been replaced with this sort of narrow lava channel. As far as the map's concerned, this is nice. I think this is better than the revamped terror that they added that virtually no one plays because it's it's a big map and it's not that interesting. I actually think this is probably a much better terror therma to play because it's got a bit more going on. There's a lot more cover. It's small enough that it you know both teams can get squished together and get into a fight. I think it's quite good. And uh, as I'll always say with the hatchet man, if you want to play one don't buy the pack, it's not worth any real real cash at all. It's best picking up for C bills whenever they have, they're available for C bills. I can't remember when sometime this year. I'm doing this in April. I don't remember when it is they're supposed to be available for C bills if they are if they aren't already. But yeah, pick it up for C bills, don't pick it up for real money. It's it's just not worth it. Um for, for its main selling point not being there. I completely agree. For me, it's great because I've always loved the mech, but otherwise, yeah. That's the end of the round anyway. Thanks for watching everybody. Have a good week, and I'll catch you next week for the uh, for the other one. Oh, the outro music's playing. Uh, I wonder if I can still be heard over it. But yeah, uh, there, there'll be another Hatchet Man, uh, the the Six Delta next time. Bit of Davian Rotary fun. I'm just gonna keep going over the outro. Um, uh, I don't know what bit we're at at this point because I recorded it with the sound muted, so I don't really know. Oh uh, God, I'm running out of time. What do I do? Uh, um, uh, re remember to like, subscribe, and give me all your money on Patreon. Yay!